Hey everybody, just a really quick, last second, totally unplanned photo moment because this thing that I've been waiting for arrived. It is called the Pinhole Pro S. It is a pinhole lens for my Micro Four Thirds camera from a company called Thingify. Hmm? Greetings and salutations, my friends. So I ordered this thing on Kickstarter you know, I feel like it's been forever ago, but when it comes to Kickstarter projects, I think this is probably one of the quickest ones to ever arrive. I have so many things on Kickstarter that have never shown up and possibly never will. But this one did. This is a pinhole lens for a modern camera. You can get this for, I guess, just probably pretty much any lens mount that you need. This one is obviously, well, hopefully, <laughs> for my Micro Four Thirds. This is from a company called Thingify, thi, thing, 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 thi, like thingy, thingy, I -N, thi, I -N, th, I -N -G -Y, fi, thing, I-N, thi, I-N-G-Y-Fi, not thing, E, like I, but Y, thing, just figure it out, Thingify. And it arrived today and I thought, oh, yeah, I wanna open it. And I was gonna open it and then I thought, oh, you know what, we should do this on camera because that's what we do. So let's get this thing fired. So look, here's the deal. Look at this, I even got, I set up a new light my top-down camera, so hopefully you can see inside of boxes a little bit mo better um, when we get into them. But let's just see <laughs> what is in this wee little box. It's a nice little box. I'm, I'm opening it with far more meticulousness than is needed. And let me just rip that part off. And look at this thingify, and it's got the nice. Ooh, look, it's got like a nice box. I, you know, I appreciate these kind of boxes. I appreciate boxes that open. Okay, now it's not going to open nicely. It did open nicely. Okay, so there, that's how it opens now. Whatever. Give me a break. Open it up. There's, it's red inside. Ooh, very pretty. Very pretty. That's, that's foam. That's, the, look at how tiny it is. A tiny little lens. And a little, it's just kind of a big red, it's a pretty box. It's a big box for a little lens. Okay, fine. Big box, little lens. This, I also got with it. I don't remember if I had to buy this separately, if it came with it or what, but this is a, a just a skylight filter, essentially. And the reason that a skylight filter is important for this is because a pinhole lens does not have any glass in it. A pinhole lens is simply a hole. And what goes through a hole? Light and dust. So we don't want dust getting to our sensor. Therefore, you have a skylight filter. So let's take a close look. It does look like Micro Four Thirds to me. It's got a lens cap. It is about the simplest, it is basically a lens cap with a hole in it, which, okay, now look, I know some of you are probably saying, why don't you just get your body cap, which is a totally legit way to do a super cheap pinhole thing. Take a body cap and drill a tiny, tiny hole in it and away you go. Possibly could have done that and had exactly the same result, but because I'm a glutton for this sort of thing, I decided to buy this one on, 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 on Kickstarter. It's now an Indiegogo, by the way, it, but uh, whatever. Anyway, so here it is, uh, Pinhole Pro S11. This is the one for my particular setup. Let's get a little close up here and you can see what this thing looks like. It is tiny. It is tiny, it has an itty bitty little hole in it. You can barely even see, can you even see, you can't even see that there's a hole in there, can you? I'm trying to like put something bright behind it. You can kind of almost see that. I feel like, hold on a second, I'm gonna take, where'd my phone go? Let's try this. I'm gonna grab my phone and let's turn the light on. I wanna like, how bright is, how small Come on, light, there we go. There you go, there's the hole. Look at it, it's tiny. It's tiny. Okay, that was a totally silly demo. Uh, let's put this thing on the camera, and then we're gonna hook the camera up to the switcher so you can see through this, because that's what we do on this show. All right, what is everybody saying here in the comments? Let's just take a quick look at those. We've got people talking about off-topic questions. Uh, well, that's all right. Don't know anything about that flash, haven't ever used it. That's a no knife. It's a no knife, it's, it's a no knife. It's a knife. Not gonna work, Christopher says. Which one's not gonna work? Drilling a hole in the body or this lens? Hopefully this lens works. I'm gonna be awfully unhappy if it doesn't. All right, let's just, where's the red dot? There's the red dot. Put it on. So the lens doesn't get much more low profile than that. Look, at that. it's so funny. Here, let's go for the close-up camera. Look at that. Ooh, and it's got a red line to match the G9. It's almost like they knew. So there's that. I am going to put my that lens, that hole is so small, I guess you don't really have to worry about too much dust or crap getting in there, but I am still going to put this on because that just seems like a good idea, assuming that it actually fits. There we go. Okay, there we go, perfect. So now it is protected, the lens cap still fits. Yes, the lens cap still fits, I suppose I could get that into frame. And we are good to go. Excellent, alrighty. 
Tokay says the Olympus 9mm is almost as small. You know what? Hold on a second. I think I have that lens. Give me a second. This is the Olympus 15mm, which is probably just as small, if not smaller. It's actually really, really small. Let me plug my ears back in here. I don't know why. But, okay, here, let's do a little side by side. This is a great idea. What a brilliant thought you had. Okay, so there's, let's do it like this. Now, keep in mind, I do have the filter on here. So this pinhole is actually slightly larger, thicker, than the Olympus 15 millimeter, which is essentially a pinhole camera lens thing. Interesting. Well, whatever. Now I have another toy. Okay, let's put this on here. It's all in place. Now they say that you have to crank the ISO, which makes sense because, you know, you don't get any aperture readout on here or anything like that. And let's see here. Uh, ooh, current focal length set to 56 millimeter. Change the setting. What's supposed to be the focal length of this? Does it say in here? What's the filter size? Hmm. So the reason, in case you're wondering, why the camera will ask you what the focal length setting is, is because it's for the image stabilization. If, uh, if you have a you know, 50 millimeter versus 100 millimeter lens or whatever on there, that changes how the stabilizer works. So that's why when you put a manual lens on, a lens that has no electronic contacts, the camera does not know what it is, it asks you so that you can tell it and then you can, you can get maximum stabilization. That would be actually very useful to have in this case. I have no idea what the focal length is supposed to be, so I'm just going to leave it where it is. Um, and uh, let's see here. Let's let's crank the ISO up. I'm going to do it on auto ISO, but I'm just going to take it all the way up. That is dark. I'm a I'm a kind of a thinking, kind of a thinking. We're going to have to go outside. Let's see. I'm trying to see is is the shutter speed image? Yeah, shutter speed is changing. So okay. All right. Let's put. Let's do this. Let's take. This, uh-oh, got a tangle here. There we go. Let's take this, plug this into here, and then we're going to go outside where it is currently very, very cold. Is that going to work? That'll work. Very cold. Try not to get, I'm better do it this way. Uh, but no snow. Unfortunately, we didn't get any new snow today, which is super disappointing. But let me just plug this into here. Let's make sure that it's syncing up. That is syncing up. All right, here we go. This is your first view through... The new lens. There you go. That's what it looks like. It's getting all kinds of crazy, funky colors. This is awesome. All right, let's go outside. Let's see what we get. And, whoosh, it's cold out here. Oh, yeah, that totally works. Nice. Cool. Man, talk about your funky, old-school look. There is no focusing to be had, is there? Not exactly the sharpest uh, image, as you would expect. What is it? I was shooting at an ISO of 25,600. Getting 125th of a shutter speed here. Oh, it's raining on me now. That's lovely. Uh, this is obviously a very exciting backdrop here. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, there you go. What do you think? Is it kind of cool? It's kind of, it could be neat. It could be fun. I don't know. I'm going to have to try and shoot video with it. Video at 25,600. Why not? You know, hey, what's the worst that could happen? Kind of cool. Kind of fun. But there you go. That's what it is. And look at that. Christopher Pepe says, great, it worked. You didn't think it was going to work. Why didn't you think it was going to work? Turn it on. Mine would not work with my GH5. Oh, you got one of these. It wouldn't work with your GH5. Here's what you need to do. This is probably why it wouldn't work. You have to enable the feature in the camera to shoot without lens. There's a feature in there that by, is, on, by design, it is disabled. Enabled. No. Whatever. By design, it's uh, by default, it's set up so that when you take the lens off of your camera, it, you can't shoot. That is so that you can't accidentally take a bunch of pictures when the lens is off, uh, maybe not have the lens fully attached and try and shoot, things like that. But there are a lot of lenses, mechanical lenses, that require, uh, that don't have any kind of electronic communications to the camera, so require the camera to just go, eh, I have no idea what's there, so I'm going to take the picture anyway. Works totally fine, you just have to enable it. So you'll find that in your GH5 think you'll find me you know actually hold on a second now there's something in my back of my thing I call a brain telling me that that's no longer there that you no longer have to do that that's an old feature hmm hmm that that you just don't even have to do that anymore because I remember now now that I'm thinking about this looking that up for someone I couldn't find it and realizing it was in the GH4s but maybe it's not in the GH5 <sighs> well anyway look for that setting if you still can't find it and you still can't get it to work Shoot me a comment, comment somewhere, anywhere on one of these videos, and I'll try and figure out what's going on. This is obviously my G9. Well, let's just put it on the G5. 
let's just put it on a GH5. Here we go. Just happen to have one sitting right here, so let's just see. Put that on there. There's no possible explanation, reason that it wouldn't work. Because um, basically, when you turn the camera on, it probably needs a battery, when you uh, turn the camera on, you can take a picture without a lens, with the lens cap on it. The camera just shoots, so it should work totally fine. But let's see what we got here. Let's put this in here. Frederick is asking, um, would I use this for production or paid work or just for fun? I would use it for anything that I possibly could. How's that sound? How's that for a wishy-washy answer? If I could get away with, if I could get somebody to pay me to use this thing, of course I would. I didn't buy it for that. Let's take it out of video mode. I bought it because it looked like fun. Get in the picture. Yep, same thing. Works just fine. Works just fine. Did I see Sean Bagshaw? I did see Sean Bagshaw. Buddy, how you doing? The dust was already on the sensor before that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. There's no dust on my sensor. I have clean sensors. Sitting around like this all day long. Of course they're clean. Okay. Well, that's that. Uh, hey, watch for my Instagram. I'm going to go take some pictures with it, and I'll post them to my Instagram. So go there, photojoseph.com slash Instagram.com slash photojoseph. You know, photojoseph everywhere. And, uh, and yeah, find it there. Okay. Uh, Bedouin, I don't know what you're saying, but that's just weird. Okay, guys, thank you so much. That was fun. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.